And hey guys, it's me, Tuck. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Sunshine. We finished that one. It's Mario Sports Mix. I'm so used to saying Super Mario Sunshine because that's all been recording just so I can, you know, get it done. But anyways, we're going to continue here in Mario Sports Mix from where we last left off. Um, I have no clue where, we are, where we're at in any of the three games. Other games. Well, GoldenEye is kind of an online thing, so there's that. And then Bomberman Land Wii, I have no clue. And in this one, I guess we're right here. And that is exactly where Slime's character is. I knew it. And Yoshi's, of course. Yoshi's is galore. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna try to get super caught up in this game, because Fall is already here, and I am behind by a crap load on this. So hopefully I can catch up and, you know, get it done. All nice and stuff. And let's go this way, because it's the secret levels, you know, we gotta take the secret pathways. Or else this wouldn't make sense. Anyways, um, I'm believing that this will probably take more than three parts, but, oh well. But we'll find out along the way. We will be facing Waluigi and Toad, though, in... DK Dock once again, okay. Uh, both teams start with 5 coins, and DK Docs moves faster. 3 sets, and set points up to 10. Not 15, that's good. And, um, hopefully I can remember my controls. It's just, this feels kind of off for me, still. And wha-bam, we already got our wonderful 6 points. Now we just need 4 more, and they have a bomb, so this is not good. Oh, we have a bomb. Spot fire with fire, then. And bam, they lose all their monies. I could have done a surf thing there, but oh well, because we still got the point. And it's all good. So I'm going to ask you all how you've been. It's been a while since I've really done any videos regarding this once again. So hopefully I can get back into the swing of things and get everything nicely caught up. Ah, great. I probably should have hit it over as Bowser Jr., but oh well. I'm still trying to get caught up, so it's all good. And we've been here way too many times, I mean, come on. This was all that we've done in the last video, was go to DK Dock and do stuff there. So let's finish this first set with a special, I guess, since I have it. I'm going to use it. Kaboom! I love those little action things. They never get old. Ever. And we got our first set, which is nice. So, I wanted to talk about this ever since I saw it at the um, recent conference. And it's all those video games. Oh my god. Take my money, Nintendo, please. Because it's basically what it's going to end up being. Because there's so many games this Christmas that I want coming out this Christmas. I didn't say that right in the beginning, but oh well. Like, Mario Kart 7 is on the priority of my list because I love Mario Kart games, and plus I have no games with my 3DS still, because I sold Pilot Wings because it sucked, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's nice. We get a freebie. And I only saw, like, the 3DS games mostly. I saw a small portion of... Uh, Skyward Sword, because I came in sort of late, because I saw a tweet by someone talking about it, so I was like, ooh, I gotta hop in this. I wanna, I wanna watch, see the latest on the video games of Nintendo, and, um, pretty much, just, I just wanted to take my money, because it's pretty much, I said pretty much way too many times, but still, all those games are, look so amazing. And there's so many good games coming out this Christmas for the 3DS that makes you, you know, kind of want to have it. I mean, I'm glad I have a 3DS. I mean, the games that came out at the beginning weren't good, but still, it was, it was very nice to have it. Because I had the very first original DS, and then I didn't get anything uh, from that, so it's, it's kind of good to, you know, kind of catch up. And 20 Toad Picks gets us Yellow Toad for Volleyball. I still need to catch up on this game, too. I just really haven't felt like it, because 
I just went through basketball already and kind of is draining to do it again. Okay, so we open up that pathway and we'll be able to go to the right to try to get um, Yellow Yoshi next time, hopefully. At least I'm hoping. But for now, we can get Slime. And this is where you can get him if you don't play um, so and so amount of games. I forgot the amount. And I'm probably not going to add a little thing in saying the amount either. I'll just let you all use your imagination. Oh! And if you heard that Skype call, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn it down. And if I reach over and do it, it's probably going to be bad. I hope they just don't talk that loud. <laughs> it's my friends Joey and TK, and they have been quiet, so I didn't really think anything of it. But anyways, when to unlock slime. Three sets. Five sets, I mean, with three points? So if you basically land it, you get the win. Oh well. Slime, you'll be ours in a minute. You and your creepy blueness. Slime is, slime is just so creepy. Him and Moogle. Jeez. I have some creepy characters. Creepy, creeper characters. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I thought I just read these rules. The opposing team starts. I thought each team... Oh well. We just want to let them win, now will we? Especially since we have this bad boy. Go, 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 oh. I don't like it when the other team has a bomb. That just never means good things. Go. Okay, good. Kerpat. I love the action thing. I don't think I've ever mentioned that too, but they're so cool. And we have one set out of three, so we might be able to get it. Done. Anyways, back to my talking about Nintendo's conference recently. I didn't really talk that much about it. I'm very disappointed. Uh, you all know about the Mario Party 9 game. As far as I know, I did not see any trailers on YouTube, and I searched for anything about it. And I, that's like one of the main things I'm excited for about, too. Mario Party games. I have all the Mario Party games, like, console-wise. Like, Mario Party, Mario Party 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I have them all. <laughs> I was a Mario party holic when I was a kid. I still am now, but of course, I started out with like Mario Kart and Super Mario 64. A lot of Mario in there. I was a Mario kid, if you couldn't tell. Even though I'm pretty sure I've talked about this a lot. But, yeah. Basically, all of my games are mostly consistent of Mario, but I'm trying to expand it. Recently, I've been trying to... Seriously? It's on. It's on. We'll, we'll get we'll get the next set. Don't worry. We'll get it. Anyways, um, I've been trying to expand my games. And I said that weird, but oh well. Uh, mostly in Metroid, because Metroid Primes, I'm after them. I have Metroid Prime 1, finally. And I've played a little bit of it, and I'm liking it. And I've had Metroid Prime 2, you all know this too, for those of you who... Um, it was in a random video that I talked about it. And I have Metroid Other M. I did it as a, um, playthrough, not a walkthrough or a let's play. Uh, without any form of commentary. Which is, um, actually coming after Bomberman Land Wii, Metroid Other M is. So, you can look forward to that, I guess. I guess you all get to know some secret intel for being wonderful viewers of the Mario Sports Mix that I am putting up. Oh god. That is terrible. They're probably going to win this, aren't they? Or not. They can totally throw it away. Sweet. We won. And we get us a nice big blob of blue. Not two of them, just one, unfortunately. Actually, one's bad enough. Slime's kind of creepy. Moogle's creepier, but still. And then you have freaking White Mage who walks around in high heels on the sand, everywhere else, factories, and I hope her heel breaks off and she <laughs> lands awkwardly on the ground. And then you have Ninja, who is a fake ninja and doesn't do that good at his ninja skills. And then you have Black Mage, who is like the only badass. Oh, and I forgot about Cactuar, who's the one that screws me over all the time. And we unfortunately don't get to face Pink Yoshi, but... 
we'll be able to get him after like the third round, round four, I believe. And I believe we're just going to go back and face the tournament, so after this match we'll find out what happens. It's a mini game. Oh boy. I love these mini games, by the way. Punk Athletic. We get to unlock a new sound, I think. Even though you can unlock it anyways, but still. Work together for a score of 1,500. And I'll be, I'll be quiet during this, so you all get to hear it, don't worry. I won't talk over it like a jerk. So, and I've basically shown you the instructions anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. That kind of ended up bad, but oh well, we got way past the requirement. So that's good. Um, I wanted it to play, you know, to its full extent, but it didn't work out. But I'm pretty sure there's videos of it on YouTube if you want to hear it that badly. Um, I'll be going over it later, too, and trying to get perfect on all of them, but that's way later, so oh well. And, oh, never mind. Looks like we get to go the full way. Awesome. And I'm trying to pan out my way of going, but I'm not sure which way I should go, honestly. Oh, and we get to face Slime already after we unlock him. That's good. Um, what time are we at? I think this will be the last one. So hopefully it'll be short. One set, that's good. Tons of... Okay, only mini shrooms. Unfortunately, let's get this over with. Because I don't like this. These le oh, levels, and we got a good start. Aw, oh, dang it, I hope they would be an idiot again. And why did I just basically put that where DK was standing? That's a big old derp on my part. And, um, there's a total of, like, nine of those songs, by the way. I thought I was about to... I should throw that out there is what I'm trying to get at. Because, you know, I like all of them. I played all of them, and they're all very catchy. And then again, that's my opinion. There we go. Oh, there's coins in here. I didn't even notice that, and I probably had it for like so long. But oh well. Let's just keep on rolling because we're doing good. We're we're close to a third there, and we're past a third now, so that's good. And let's get this. Hurry on up. And what else was I going to talk about, about the conference? I keep bringing it on and off. 
Uh, Skyward Sword had a very long thing, and I've heard that there is like 100 to 50 hours of gameplay. That's amazing. I know what I'll be getting this Christmas, and it's definitely going to be some Skyward Sword, that's for sure. Whatever, let's play it though. Um, I'd have to feel like super comfortable with doing that. Just like any other game. Which I don't feel comfortable with doing anything Zelda related for a long time, because there's a lot of stuff to do in a Zelda game, in my opinion. A lot of stuff to do. And I'm one of those people who, who has to like get everything done in there, every single thing. Like fishing in there, in that one game for Twilight Princess, that would be done on my channel if I was to ever do it. And shoot, I don't even have like four of those. To be honest. Um, Ocarina of Time, I didn't ever complete it at all. Uh, I think the only one I ever like, I don't even think I've 100 percent in any of them. Excuse me. To be honest, and that's very sad, I know. But I wasn't the Zelda person as a kid. Once again, I was the Mario person. So yeah. Um, let's see what other game did I like when I saw it? Paper Mario. I'm kind of disappointed. There's not that much on it. And Paper Mario series. The Paper Mario series is one of my favorites. I love the Paper Mario series. It's very creative. Very, very creative. Um, what else was there that I was wanting to mention? A lot of those other third-party games that I saw, like there was this freaking Japanese anime dancing game, and I'm going to be honest with you all, my flame shield is up. I do not like anime, period. It is not one of the things that I like. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, whatever, move on with other stuff. And then there was like this anime talking thing. A lot of anime stuff. I, I don't really uh, particularly care. Everyone has their own preferences in games, and that's kind of mine. I don't know what it's really about. It looks like you just talk to people, and they like do these swaying motions while smiling at the camera. That's what it looks like to me. But, you know. And we're one point away from winning this match and ending the video. So, what are your all's opinions on the conference? You know, what did you think about it? Did you like a lot of the stuff? Did you think it was cool, stupid, blah, blah whatever, whatever? Oh, there was a pink 3DS too, as a side note, which I really don't see the point of unless you're a hardcore chick that likes pink, period. But yeah, but anyways, what's your opinion on it? You can leave a comment about it and discuss about it if you want to. But as for now, this video is over with. So thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.